Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Uh, this is our last episode of Five Things We Learned Manchester United 2. And uh, you know, Man City 1, Manchester United, we are the champions. You can see that. I'm going to tell you guys what I think I learned and I would like to learn from you guys also what I think you learned. But guys, please, I want to ask you guys something. We have been doing a lot of videos here. Our channel hasn't had that opportunity to you know to blow up so we don't people don't know this channel so please for all of you who have managed to come into the channel firstly always click a like on the video that helps the system to share with us and for those of you here who have been here for ages i mean i know you by name i don't need to call them you know we have a small community please share these videos always like the video so we can build a bigger community this summer, we'll be doing some videos outside Old Trafford. We'll be so doing some videos also um, on United Training Ground and everything. We will try to do that. But please, we are looking for sponsors. So for us to do that, we need your help. I've not asked you guys for money. I've not got you guys to pay chats here for me to see, read your emails, for me to read your messages. But please, hopefully, you will get in board with us. Thank you very much, and thanks for your mature understanding. Let me go straight. So... The first thing we learned yesterday is that we have a very good youth. If we can help to develop the youth in Manchester United, keep them, preserve them, don't get them spoiled with crazy contracts. This is a very important thing. You agree with me. Don't get them, don't give them all these crazy contracts that makes them feel they're, they're at some kind of a demigod. Nurture your youth very well. Real Madrid does pay. Did you know that United pays, paid uh, Casemiro twice the salary of Real Madrid to bring him to, to Manchester? So Real Madrid does pay these players really well, but they have a way they manage the players. So United, I hopefully that all what uh, the Inyos are trying to do, they are trying to build up a team of people who know ha who have this psychological experience to to manage players i think this is very important we have massive players that can do well but the question is how do we manage them you have rasmus hodgland which i think he plays with his heart for united we need another nine so there should be competition you have kobe menu i don't know what to say about kobe and uh he, i mean I've, I've told you guys many times i think i haven't heard anyone saying this Kobe Menu, I've said this on this channel many times that um, Kobe Menu closely becoming, um, he will be the future manager, Manchester United captain. His attitude, his leadership, he, he, he commands respect. That is, I think he's just fantastic. Ganacho, if Ganacho put his helm down next season and try to play simple and uh you know he, he he has all the attributes to be a very big thing i think his career unfortunately wouldn't if would be, with this trajectory which he is now i think unfortunately ganacho will end up in real madrid these are south american players you can't stop them from leaving when they want to go but i hope he can win something at least a european cup with manchester united um Ahmad, remember when i said last week if ten Hag doesn't start Ahmad in this game he should be sacked this is because I looked at the game as a normal game. I forgot something. When I get things wrong, I must admit it. I forgot that this is a game in which United, we had to approach it in a particular way. We had to add a strategy of, you know, when to explode, when to stop, when to attack. And, and Matt has one of those qualities that are not really uh, respected in the Premier League. Ahmad will do fantastic in Manchester City. But I think in a league where physicality is often put above um, you know technicality Ahmad will always have a minus on that but yes guys I just want to say again please please make sure you click a like on this video that helps to bring those who don't have I'm not a Brit I'm not an Asian I'm not a Ru I'm not a Russian I'm not um, uh, I'm not an American I'm not someone inside the United setup I'm an African boy like you, African man like you who love the club. And I want to build up also our people, our society, and those of you who support uh, uh, the football in general. I got this in Croatia some years ago. This is Manchester United stuff. My personal history with Manchester United, I'm going to tell you guys when we have a, we have a bigger community. But let me go straight with the number two. Number two is that we are champions. Manchester United, we are now second the most well we were actually now we are just one trophy behind um arsenal with 14 arsenal has 14 and we have to have just won our 13 um fa cup 
13 FA Cup. So we are the second. I think that the third person behind us is Chelsea with eight. I think if I'm not mistaken, City is way down. I think City, uh, last time I looked at it, City was, I think, seven with Aston Villa. Let me just read it to you. Okay, so this is it. You have Chelsea, eight. Liverpool, eight. Hots, Tottenham Hotspur, eight. Wow, I think the last time they, they won it, I wasn't born. Um, City, seven. Aston Villa, seven. Newcastle, six. So that is it. We are 13. The highest is Arsenal. You know, there was a period where Arsenal was winning this thing every time. But um, yeah, United, we are back. We are champions. Manchester United is red. Manchester United is red. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> the truth is that if you go to Manchester, the city, clearly 75% are Manchester United fans. Clearly. I mean, you feel it. It's not a crime to be a City fan, but, you know, the fact is that the history is with us, with the team. So we are lucky about uh, that. So the other thing is this manager. This is a story, Eric Ten Hag. I think Eric Ten Hag will be sacked. I think he will be sacked with a condition um, that they will sign a player. Why? Because normally after... I think the, the, the story that Eric Tenag had to be sacked was already in the media. And if you never knew this guy, there was one guy who's one person, I think I don't want to call the name here, but it's, I think it's Tonde who said that, oh, I, 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 I like Eric Tenag, but uh, I, I hate the fact that he doesn't sign experience, but he, signs, uh, he, doesn't sign, he doesn't know how to sign players. Managers don't sign players. They give recommendation. They have a team behind them. This is why you have to go and join a, a football group that you can ask your question and learn. We are learning. I'm not the most perfect guy, but we are learning in this process as fan. Football for us is for some, it's a profession. For some, it's a, it's a passion. For some, it's everything for them. So you, you can learn. So managers don't sign players. Manager recommend. You can say, let me tell you how play, coaches do sign players. Maybe some of you don't know. When you want to buy a, a, a defender, you say, I want a defender who is good on the air. The, the, those statistics is good on the air, good with his left foot, and can penetrate very easily from, from between lines. That's what you want. You don't say, I want to go and sign Logan Blanc. I want to go and sign Roy Fenidane. It's the club to search those three kind of players with those attributes to sign. So when you say, I want an explosive right wing uh, um, uh, the midfielder, someone who can who is an inverted winger, midfielder, and you go and bring Antonio and say, oh yeah, work with Antonio, fine. I don't choose to, to, to what, what um, financial cost should be given to Antonio. I don't choose it. The manager doesn't choose it. That's what I'm trying to say, putting myself in the manager's phone. So please, guys, stop. I know the social, one of the reasons why some of you don't like dropping comments is because you're afraid to, to, I mean, that you should get caught up or you're afraid or you don't have information. But ask your questions. We will share. We are a community. This is not my channel. If it was my channel, I would tell the camera guy to off it. I don't need to be saying this. It's social something, you know. So when you go out and discuss. So. Uh, I mean, this uh, Dimasio, when Jaluka Dimasio came out with this a week ago, that um, uh, Eric Tenak, that the board has already decided that he, it was based on the fact that the board has started, the, the Ineos group, right, who was building the football side of Manchester United, had started met, uh, meeting already other Manchester United fans. I'm sorry, other Manchester United, uh, I mean, other, other, other managers, sorry. Uh, Karen McKinnon has been, uh, has been, uh, uh, talk to his people, not him, the individual, but his team. Because, you know, you don't talk to players, you don't talk to managers, you talk to their team. They are representative. And uh, they, they, they actually share with their client. It works like that. So um, they have spoken, when when Chelsea uh, went for Kieran Marquini and Manchester United jumped and tried to find the opportunity to also to sign him. But guess what? We have a breaking news today that Kieran Marquini is, uh, has Chelsea has turned down, has reduced the... Um, um, the effort of wanting to say the idea of wanting to sign Kieran McKinnon. My back is paining me. Oh, I'm an old man, but you guys don't know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So Manchester United has, uh, 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 uh I mean, Chelsea has, has um, stopped the, the purchase of uh, Kieran McKinnon. They are not pursuing that option. So, uh, it is clear that maybe Manchester United, it seems as if Kieran McKinnon will be the next manager for Manchester United. But I would not be surprised if Ten Hag stays because he deserved, Ten Hag deserved, deserved to stay. Smash a like on the video if Ten Hag deserved to stay as Manchester United manager uh, below. Yeah, so our next uh, thing is Bruno Fernandes. I think Bruno Fernandes, 
I just said Ten Hag might be sacked. I think if Bruno Fernandes is not convinced that Manchester United will um, have a team or a plan or a future of winning trophies, I don't think Bruno will stay here. I don't say he's going to leave. This is two things. I'm not saying that someone has told me that Bruno will be sold. So please, I mean, I hope you understand the English. Uh, I, I'm trying to say is that I don't think Bruno Fernandes will want because Bruno is turning, is 20, turning 29, I think. Yes, he came to Manchester United as 28. He has been here for four and, four and a half years or so. And uh, he will, he needs to win things. Now he has two, tro two domestic trophies. I think he will want to go for a European trophy. I think next year will be Bruno's last year if we bring a young manager. Bruno will be leaving and I can understand with him. I've been in Portugal. I was in Portugal last year when I did a lot of videos with you guys here. And, and um, I mean, the Portuguese people are very easygoing. They are not mostly attracted uh, to they are not mostly the decisions are not mostly made on financial basis they actually have a value that's my my my, my take about portuguese you don't buy them because of that uh so i think bruno is uh is a man is a guy which we have seen is absent he he hardly misses games but you can remember just the two three games he made i think two or games or three maybe I mean, he, 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 which he missed. You saw how difficult it was. How for it was difficult for United to string passes. Then, as it's go, time is going. Let me just go now. I think uh, to the next point, which is this guy. There have been this story that Marcus Rashford. I mean, because Marcus Rashford cried in the finals. Marcus Rashford uh, is about to leave, and uh, you know, is this a goodbye? This is what goal is writing. Marcus Rashford in tears after United. Incredible effort can win against Man City. Admit rumors the international is set to is set for a, a, a summer transfer. Look, if there's one team that wants to buy United and uh, Marcus Ras for now, um, I think uh, PSG, the, the Paris team, will. They are the only team that can. They are not the only team, but they are the team that has shown interest. And with Kylian Mbappe leaving to Real Madrid, I uh, have a feeling that there will be a deal there because look, I mean, Marcus Rashford is going to leave because look, I think Marcus Rashford might, I mean, is not going to leave, might leave. The reason is this, just put one and one and one and one together to understand. We uh, uh, want to sign Olise. We have players like, it seems as if Greenwood will return. Uh, Mason might return next season, might. We uh, are bringing in uh, Olise. We, we are badly searching for Sesco. We want another attacker, right? And Marcus Rashford, and the club has said every player has a price. If you bring the right offer for any player, they are going to uh, consider it. And PSG sells, uh, I mean, PSG is not selling, actually. Uh, Kylian Mbappe leaves PSG. The Paris probably will shout for a new big name. I think Marcus Rashford will be giving a bombard. I I'm seeing a... I look. I've said certain things here that have come to pass. I'm seeing if if Marcus Rashford leaves Manchester United, it will be a 100 million euros transfer. So something like an 80, 80 million pound, eight, between 80 and 90 million pound transfer for Marcus Rashford for Manchester United to to Paris Saint Germain. I think he is in that state where he needs to make his mind. It's more about him and uh yeah that's where we are so guys thanks all of you for watching guys we'll be doing some live streams here at least three four times a week we did one yesterday we started it we'll be doing it anywhere around the world now we will be doing it i'm traveling to turkey we will do it for a short stop and we will do some streams here it will might not be on the uh in the studio but we'll do those streams talk to you guys it will be always like 30 minute streams uh, daily especially a lot of transfer going on so guys make sure you click the bell subscribe to the channel join the united way uh, membership we have no member just subscribe i would love to meet uh football fans who are uh, who who have a, a, an opinion on football real or proper opinion so guys that was five things we learned against uh, uh the game manchester united manchester city hopefully next season we'll come back strong life is all about hope because uh Without hope, you're a dead man walking. Anyway, lovely show. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.